I'm Dizzy, a 12 time 13 world time champion, champion. A pioneer, a global b boy activist, and you're watching the Dizzy Diaries B Boy Vlog! Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Plan. And that's me, Dizzy. I'm just decided to make this vlog today just to talk about uh, something that's happened to me recently. Uh, sure, some of you guys know that I, I got into quite a bit of trouble for the things that I said for one of the last videos that I put up uh, based on a lot of my ignorance. Out of all these things, one of the things that happened is uh, I heard that somebody, I'm not going to say who, well, what this guy took the opportunity to bash on me and say things that aren't true. Now, uh, some people are haters and they're waiting for a chance to, to get you, you know what I mean? Especially when you're down, they want to kick you when you're down. This guy decided to use his platform to lie about me, right? And uh, you know, I don't mind when people say stuff, you know, like they make fun of me or whatever, but to, to lie, right? Like it's kind of whack. So what he basically said is that I was running a scam, okay? Like a, a pyramid scheme with breaking. Now tell me, does that even make sense? What kind of breaking pyramid scheme can you do? He's trying to say that the plan is a scam, a pyramid scheme. If you don't know what the plan is, I guess he doesn't know what the plan is, but the plan is was just a business model, basically, that I developed to find a way for b-boys to earn a living off breaking, off marketing themselves. But the plan is basically a way that b-boy crews, real b-boy crews, can have an all-encompassing format with multiple revenue streams using every single way in breaking to basically earn money from doing what they love to do. But a crew needs to do this together, okay? So how to promote themselves, how to sell themselves to students, how to teach, everything, all encompassed. And so the only crew that I actually did it with, where I fully went all the way with, with the plan, is Dreamrunners, right? And this all happened when uh, I was finished working for R16, eight years in Korea, finding out the ins and outs of the b-boy culture, the b-boy industry, how promoters make money, how much money's in the scene, and just realizing that there is money in breaking, just not for the b-boys. And so I wanted to change this, and I, when I finally finished, R16 came to an end, and I was, I was just about to move back to Toronto, Canada, to start the plan with either my crew or the Toronto scene, and I was offered by Dream Runners to test the plan out in here in Jai City, Taiwan. I looked at it and said, hey, they have everything that we need. Uh, they have a crew that's very professional, you know, that's very hungry, that has a mind open to being entrepreneurs and working, good work ethic. So that's why I came over here and started the plan over here. So when I first started this, this was already 2017 with uh, Dream Runners, where I started step by step going with them, coaching them, not just in the breaking, but as businessmen, you know, just developing the plan, how to become the city recognized b-boy crew, okay? And then how to market to their fans and become famous in their own city, and how to build a business and, and monetize their fans and their supporters inside their own city. Basically, Dream Runners has done this. They've been working hard for the last few years, you know, building up a business from the ground up, doing it the right way, taking out loans and everything, putting all their money, effort, sweat, everything into building this business. And today, finally after two years after officially launching the Blockhouse, we have, we're finally getting uh, our first dividend payout, right? Now I'm not really sure how much it is because now I'm gonna look at all the finances and we're gonna see how they calculate it because you know, I'm not running Dream Runners. I was just consulting for them. Uh, through it for the first two years that I was here. I can't take, I don't want to take any of the credit except for the fact that it was my idea that I led them this way, I guided them this way, but they put in all the work, you know, like all the work. They did all the problem solving, they did all the executing. Business is in the execution of it, okay? Everybody can have a good idea, but it's the execution that matters more than the idea itself. Because you can have a really bad idea, but if you execute it so well and you make it work, is it really a bad idea? And you can have a great idea, but if you can't execute it properly, was it a good idea? So with that said, I'm driving right now to the blockhouse and I'm going to be collecting a dividend. I don't care how small or big it is, but it's uh, 
it's a special day for me. You know what I mean? Because we're, you know, like the business is actually turning a profit. So with this guy saying these things about the plan that it's a scam, it's either he's ignorant or a, or a slandering. You know, like purposely, willingly trying to destroy someone's credibility by lies. You know, I'm hoping that it's ignorance. But either way, I'm not gonna say who he is, but the way that I look at things is when I see somebody, I already offered this guy, I already offered this guy a chance to get into the cipher with me and he turned it down and said something so freaking racist, so racist that I was just like, okay, all right. You know, when you offer someone a battle and they turn it down and throw something racist at you, all you can do is just say, okay, when I see you, then we see you. You know what I mean? Like, that's just the way it works. You know what I mean? So, hopefully it's gonna be cool. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not like trying to wish anything off anybody. I just, the way that I am is, if I got beef with somebody, I take that mental note of it. I take a snapshot, find out who they are, remember their face, and then I put it aside. And then I go back into my business and I live my life. I'm too busy. You know, I'm too busy following my dreams, trying to build the community trying to build the culture there's so many things to be doing that you can't live your life with like hate in your head so i want to talk about this for a while because you know slander is a big deal but i was just like okay when i have time to talk about this what this person said then i will talk about it you know and uh, today is the greatest time because now that i'm going to go pick up some money and check it just i was just like oh yeah this is not a scam if it was a scam then why, why is this business making money? So yeah, we're just about pulling up right now to the blockhouse. And I am just gonna turn to this little street where the blockhouse is. Dream Runners. <laughs> All right, we're walking in. Quick tour. Look at that. Very cool. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> All right, we're coming in. No one's here yet. It's just opening at one o'clock. So one of the things that we've built over here is this nice little bar. It gives it this, uh, you know, bar party atmosphere, you know, selling coffee. Yeah, it's nice. Bubble tea and all that kind of stuff. Hi. <laughs> These kids are crazy. Okay, and this is another upstairs place that some of the crew members live up here. Upstairs. Okay, this is where Hong Ten was staying. And you got uh, the room where some of the B boys live, and there's an extra room actually. We're gonna go to the office, the new Dream Runner's office. Hi, Hi. what's up? Hi. What up? <laughs> That's good. 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 <laughs> and look who just made it. <laughs> new phone. <laughs> yeah, right. not good phone, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I broke my phone and I forgot my camera, so I'm using this for my vlog phone. Yeah. Yay! Woo! Yeah. 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 The first day yeah. today. You know, yeah. it's super exciting, yeah. and uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a lot, but it's just yeah. proof that the business is moving. It's great. And trying to make it bigger, gonna grow it and do our best. All right. All right. Time for me to go home, guys. Peace out. Bye, Bye guys. See you. <laughs> it's so funny. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just picked up the money and uh, just had a little meeting which I didn't film. Uh, I was having a meeting with Harry in. Just getting all the updates about the business and seeing what we can do better for the future. And uh, that's what business is about, you know what I mean? Like really just trying to figure things out uh, slowly, carefully. And yeah, there's, you know, I'm just so proud of these guys of what they've done, what they've accomplished here in Jai with the, I call it the blockhouse. Looking forward to trying to open up more. Hopefully I'm gonna be opening up one in Toronto or in the Philippines. I'm not sure, or if this takes me anywhere else in the world, possibly even Las Vegas. There's all these places where we wanna open up the same business. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Thanks for following, and I'll try to keep you guys more updated on the plan. All right, guys, this is the B-Boy Breaking Business, and yeah, until the next one. Peace. <laughs>